CRDTs. Finally, something more complicated than IKEA instructions. So, what the fuck is a CRDT? Hi, I'm Dakota Roth, and in this topic is way out of my depth, but I'm going to try anyways. The only resources I can really find on this are practically PhD theses. Yeah, we all love Google Docs. You type, your friend types, and somehow the same words show up on all of your screens at roughly the same time. How? It's not magic, but it's pretty fucking close. Let's hear a story. Bob and Tim have computers. They are working on the same document. Bob adds there to his document. The simplest way of making sure Tim gets this update is to send over the entire document to him. But what if Bob is working on his manifesto and it's already five reams long? That's a huge waste of bandwidth sending the entire document over each time. Instead, we just send the changes Bob made to it. This is called diff or a delta. And for us right now, they mean the same thing, but sometimes nerds use them for other things. So stay vigilant out there. Okay. Now that we're saving on Bob's sketchy and borderline questionable satellite internet bill, shit's about to get a lot more complicated. What if Bob makes an edit, but while that edit is traveling slowly due to his shit satellite internet, Tim also changes the word hello to hey. By the time Tim receives the diff from Bob, it no longer makes sense because hello is gone. We could just send Bob's full version to restore this, but now Tim's pissed because his work slash pickup line is gone. So how do we not lose Tim's smooth lines in a scenario like this? The actual topic of this video, CRDTs, conflict-free replicated data types. CRDTs track every edit individually. When they're syncing, they don't just slap edits on top of each other. Instead, they can rewind the edits backwards to a point where the edits still make sense together and then replay the changes in a way that merged them cleanly. Now here's a bunch of other stuff I forgot to tell you. Bonus round. There's another thing called OT, operational transformation, which kind of works similarly, but it really needs a central server to keep track of changes. And if you're operating on a large scale like Google Docs, you might as well be burning cache in an incinerator to generate the amount of power needed for your compute. CRDTs aren't just for text. They can also be used for other things like number counters and more complicated data types. Even CRDTs aren't perfect and will still mess up from time to time due to the nature of inserting text with latency. Oh my God, you made it to end. Comment if you have questions and maybe I can answer them because that was a pretty bad explanation.